Howdy, practical patriots and practical preppers. Oh, to gross house, Texas. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to say I'm really excited about today's video because it stems from questions that I get asked on the channel and people just meeting me at gun shows and also at gun shops and whatnot. And here we go. Different optic mounting options for your AK pattern rifle. When I have AK classes out here, usually it's for new AK shooters wanting to know a little bit more about the platform of rifle. And the first thing I always tell them is you can go to two different factories. Let's take, for example, this one's from Russia and this one's Bulgarian. And you will find out that AKs built in different factories, while they do look similar and have a lot of things that are familiar with each other, they're not all built the same. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's take one of my favorite AK-74 mags here. And this is just to show you something, why this is important. Take it over. This has a bolt hold open feature. Notice it works real great, good with the Russian AK. But when I flip this over on the Bulgarian, grab a hold of that mag really well. Notice it doesn't work, okay? Similar, very similar but a few slight variations. So those little variations can make a difference when you're trying to pick a good mount for your AK. So let's say you want to keep your AK as pristine as, as, as possible, you know, like just right out of a com block storage room. All right, the best mounting option I could come up with is go with the side rail if it's provided, which means you would use something like this, which is a Midwest Industries optic mount, and it slides across the rail like so. You lock that baby in position, and there you have it. The most important thing, though, about using this option is this. I want you to pay very close attention to this next part. This is my Romanian Wasser right here. Notice it has a side rail on it. This is a UTG Pro. I took this rail off of it over here. Uh, just to kind of cut down a little bit of weight. I didn't think it was necessary to have it. But what I want you to know is that when you mount this thing on here, and just, just using this one as an example, the most important thing that you need to do is make sure that the mount and the optic will sit center right over that barrel. Okay? But you will notice that sometimes, and people say this is fine, that it sits a little bit off to the right and sometimes to the left because there's no way on a fixed optic mount on here that you can adjust this rail to where it sits over the barrel. Now, while this is a good, inexpensive, budget-minded one, I'm not so keen on the thought of this sits a little bit over the right. Some people say it's fine, but hear me out. I want to show you something. Check out my high-tech graphics here. So let's say you have the rifle, okay, and then your optic sits a little bit off to the right. Just using a number here, just for yeehaws, okay? Uh, let's say that you zero that rifle at 50 meters and your point of impact straight with the barrel hits right on the bullseye where you want it, okay? Like just for example, 50 meters, but let's say you march that out a little bit to about 100 meters. Notice the lines change a little bit, okay? That is why I tell people to make sure that when you buy any optic mount, you get that thing to where it sits center over the barrel. Like I said, people will disagree with me, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But, uh, you know, maybe I have a point too. Let's say you don't mind kind of tacticalizing your rifle. I went with this system. The Texas Weapons Dog Leg Rail System. I liked it so much that I bought another one. Now, when it comes down to apples and oranges on your budget and everything, believe it or not, let me scooch this up a little bit. This one costs about the same as this one. Of course, like I always tell people, please watch your sales. Um, Optic Planets, thank you so much. Uh, primary arms you got right here in Texas you guys are awesome watch your sales find out which one you can get and find the one that suits your needs better again as I said if you want to keep your rifle kind of 
old school as I call <laughs> wood stocks, whatnot. That's great if you want to kind of modernize your rifle and because you need rails or something like that. Like I tell people, I'd set these things up for me, for my purposes, not for anybody else's. This is also a good option. One option I want to, and also, by the way, don't forget, you can also, what I like about these is that some of these are, these are adjustable. One really good one that I don't have is the RS Regulate, which uh, it's, it's a separate piece up here where you mount your optic, and it's a little bit of adjustable, if I remember correctly. This one, the adjustment is down here. And I know I've got one that I slightly modified to make it fit over the center of the barrel and the receiver to keep my straight line. But again, that's an option. You want to keep this one pristine? This is the way to go. If you don't mind tacticaling it, this is, this is what I use. And you can find one on Texas Weapon uh, Systems uh, website, which dogleg rail fits your need. One that I don't have that people ask me about is the Ultimac, which fits right on top of the handguard. Contrary to what I have heard, I have never seen it. People have told me, oh, don't you know that the heat from this right here will, will destroy your optic? Well, maybe if you bought one from places that maybe they're like $40 or less, I could probably see that. You know, possibly they're just not built up to the same specs. However, to me, this area would get so hot, I don't, the ones that I know, the ones that I prefer, the optics, it would be too hot to handle before it would even remotely destroy that optic. So if you want one fitting over here, that's your thing. To me, it makes the, the AK pattern rifle a little bit more front end heavy, but all of you know, I like my AKs like I like my country girls. I like them front end heavy. So next option, the Polish Tontal. This one was built with a no-dock spud receiver. I've added a few things to it to kind of make it a little bit more like why I like it. This right here was a very inexpensive option back when I found it. You know, but you do have to take a screw out of here, you know, to, to dis basically to, to access the uh, top cover to clean it and everything. Uh, we'll see if this is possibly a candidate for this in the future. But this is another option. And another thing, Polish Tontal, would you consider it an AK? Yes or no? My Chinese Mac 90 that I bought back in like 1989 or so for what, $175 out of a mom and pop shop? Yeah, I had to add a side rail right here to be able to accommodate a rail, an optic rail. Like this one, trying to, trying to reach over here one-handed. Fits on there nicely. And all this really is, looks like something out of Star Trek, doesn't it? Is one of these cut down. That's all that is. But amazingly enough, what I liked about this one was on this Chinese Mac 90, it fits dead center. Whoops. <laughs> I gave you a butt shot there, didn't I? <laughs> it fits dead center. I mean, dead center. I mean, whoops, sorry about that. Hit the camera. I mean, it fits dead center, so I could not get, go wrong. I'm going to probably leave this one like this. You know, budget, like you, on a budget, until something better comes along. And for you purists out there, here you go. <laughs> if you want to trade me, meet me here in Land Passes, Texas, with something that we will do a fair trade over, there you have it. I'll be more than glad to give that to you. <laughs> So just recapping, again, if you want to keep your AK pure or, you know, old school, as I call it, kind of original, right out of a com block warehouse, this is the way to go. Use your side rail. If it doesn't have a side rail, you can actually add one on. Uh, again, if you use this system right here where you use the side rail, make sure that when you line up that optic, that it's sitting over the center of the barrel. If you want to go more modernized, more tactical, there's this option right here, which is the Texas Weapon System dog rig, rig, dog leg rail. Excuse me. No matter which option you use, it's all about choice in how you want to set up your rifle. Because after all, this rifle and this rifle are mine. There are many like it, but these two are mine, just like your rifles need to be yours and fit your needs. 
Questions, comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse. Salute out here.